glory on our hallelujah to our immortal and invisible Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to bless the name of the Lord for his great faithfulness, his power, and his presence. In this faith clinic, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ alone, be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Our text today is taken from the book of John, chapter 5, verses 2 to 6. John, chapter 5, verses 2 to 6. Now there is at Jerusalem, by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in Hebrew tongue, Bethsaida, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of impotent volk, of blind, halt, willard, waiting for the moving of the water, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the trouble of the water, step in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity, thirty and eight years, when Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He said unto him, Will thou be made whole? May the Lord empower his word in our hearing in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will sort you out today for a miracle in Jesus' name. Right now, right where you are lying down on your sick bed, at the corner of your house, the Lord will sort you out and he will heal you. In the mighty name of Jesus. At that place you are doing that your dirty job. At that humiliating situation. The Lord will sort you out today. In the mighty name of Jesus. From the back seat you are sitting down on that roll. I speak into your life. The Lord will sort you out. And promotion will come upon, upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I announce in the name of Jesus. That grace will visit you. In Jesus' name. You will get there by grace this time. In the mighty name of Jesus. My beloved viewers. It is very good to prosper in life through hard working. It is very good. To attain through hard working. But I want to tell you. It is more better. To get there by grace. You will get there today by grace in Jesus' name. It is good to seek the Lord. The Bible instructed us to seek the Lord. But I want to assure you that it is more better for God to sort you out. I speak in the name of Jesus. The Lord will sort you out for a wow breakthrough in the name of Jesus. The Lord will sort you out for an awesome miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Test told us about a man. That the Lord Jesus Christ set him free and heal him by grace and truth. The Bible recorded that the man has been there for 38 years. Yearly he came to the pool, a messy house, a pool at the, at the market that an angel need to come every year to trouble the water. And whosoever, according to the scripture, step in first, will be healed. According to the test, the man has been there yearly. It makes us to understand that the man has been, he, he, he is an hard-working man. He put an effort. He doesn't like his situation. But when they asked him, he said, I don't have anybody to put me inside. I waited. People get there before me. He showed us the word system. The word system, survivor of the fittest, whosoever step in first, who knows who, according to your influence or according to your ability. If you don't know people that are there, you can't get there. If you don't know people who can block the other four ways for you and you can only be the only person who can enter, 
through the only fifth port, there is no miracle for you. The man has been there for a long time. Thank God. Grace sought him out. That grace that sought that man out, among many, multitude are standing, it was the only one Christ went to go and meet. Christ will sort you out today. Grace will find you today. At that place you are, in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you don't have influence, but I speak into your life. Grace will find you today. Jesus Christ told him, he brought a new method. Grace. No comment. Forget about influence. Forget about your ability. Forget about effort. There's grace. I speak in the name of Jesus. Grace will find somebody today in the mighty name of Jesus. Another woman in the scripture was redeemed from condemnation by grace and truth. In the book of John chapter 8, verses 10 to 11. John 8, 10 to 11. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman and said unto her, Woman, where are thou accusers? As no man condemned thee? She said, No man. Lord, and Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. From now on, in the name of Jesus, you will be free from every condemnation in Jesus' name. You will be free from every condemnation. You will be redeemed from every judicial condemnation in the mighty name of Jesus. But in most cases, we want to fly with one wing. We want to fly with one wing. We talk most about the grace without the truth. There are two wings. We concentrate only on grace and we make the grace seem ineffective. There are two wings. Grace and truth. They are inseparable. You cannot separate them. Without truth, there is no grace. They come together. The Bible recorded. It told the woman, By grace, I will not condemn you. That is grace. Freedom from condemnation. But sin no more. That is the truth. The world doesn't want to hear it. And they walk together. Free from condemnation. Sin no more. And the woman was free. In the Bible passage we read in the book of John chapter 5. The verse 14 told us. That afterward Jesus find him in the temple. And said unto him. Behold thou hast made old. Amazing grace. Sin no more. List or a word thing come unto you. That is the truth. May you hear the truth of the word of God today in Jesus' name. The grace and the truth, they are wholesome. They are inseparable. You cannot separate the truth. But majority want to listen to the grace. And the Bible told us, can somebody live in sin and want grace to abound? He said, God forbid. God forbid. According to the book of Romans chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. They walk together. The truth. Sin no more. From now on, you receive the power to sin no more. In Jesus' name. My beloved viewers, if there is one thing a man needs in this life, if there is one thing that is crucial to you in this life, if you have asked to make a wish in your life, ask for grace. Grace. Grace and truth. Grace and truth. Grace is where you finish your ability. Where your ability or your influence. Finished. Grace begins. Hallelujah. 
grace where you finish your race. The life is about race, the journey of your life. Where you finish your race, grace start. The grace, the first word in grace is G. It starts with capital G. It stands for God. They are combined word. God, race. Where you finish your race, God, race. God start his own. God, race. May God take over your race from now on in Jesus' name. Whenever your influence, your ability, or your strength finish, God step in into the race. May the Lord step into your race today in Jesus' name. He step into the race of that man. It's about race. God, race, begin. God, race will begin in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The moment you can't again, every human being, there is always a limitation. When you get to the equilibrium point, diminishing return comes. You diminish. Ability, your strength, your effort diminish. Then, God, race, start. Peter tried, he put all effort, but he got to the point he can't. And God began the race, and he got excess. It became a blessing. God will step into your, the race of your life today in Jesus' name. No wonder. The Bible in the book of Hebrew, chapter 4, verse 16, he told us, he said, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. You will find grace for help today in Jesus' name. Every grace and truth you needed to move forward, to solve that situation, that thing you needed for your life, receive the grace and the truth in the mighty name of Jesus. It's awesome, the grace and truth. We needed it in our life. How could we get it? How can we attract it? In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 8 to 9, Apostle Paul was in the same situation. For this thing, I, I besought the Lord thrice that may depart from me. I read the 9B, 9A. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weaknesses. Praise the living Jesus. There is something he doesn't want in his life that the messenger of Satan has planted in his body. He doesn't want it. What is it that is in your life that you are crying day and night unto the Lord? He's saying, His grace is sufficient unto you. I pray in the name of Jesus. The grace of the Lord will save you and it will heal you today in Jesus' name. Whatever it is that is in your life, that the, that the messenger of Satan has put into it today, the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Do we attract it? He said, I, I, I beset the Lord three times. He spoke to the Lord concerning it. Not one time, not two times, not the third time. And the Lord replied, speak to the Lord in prayer concerning it. The only thing we need in life is grace. The Lord will heal you today by grace. Speak to him. Dialogue with him in prayer. Settle it on your nail. I assure you, his grace is sufficient. Cry unto him in prayer. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 14. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And amen. And amen. The grace belong to our Lord Jesus Christ. Cry unto him. Is the owner of grace. It belong to him. What are you going through? You put all effort. You tried. You use the necessary connection. The press button. 
prayer, fasting. It's time to change the tune of your prayer to grace, O oh Lord. The grace and the truth. I will obey the truth. I want grace. I don't want to struggle with ability. I want grace. I pray as you commune with the Lord. The Lord will answer you today in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace belongs to our Lord Jesus Christ. Although he said the grace is sufficient and it's available. But do you have access to it? That is the key. Although they are lying down. The grace is sufficient. They are abundant. But do you have access to it? It must belong to him before you can have access to it. It must belong to Christ before you can have access to this grace. That's one thing we needed in life. A grace to move you forward. A grace put you away from the queue. A, 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 a grace, it collapsed steps for you. I pray somebody will find grace today in the name of Jesus. Like I said, you must belong to him. I want you to invite Christ into your life if you have not done that. But if you have not been listening to the truth, I want you to dedicate your life to the Lord. Oh, you are backslided. I want you to return back unto him. I want you to pray from your heart and say, Lord Jesus, I heard about you. Accept me today. I want to belong to you. I want you to come and be my Lord and my Savior. I surrender my life unto you. Accept me, O Lord. Or I dedicate my life unto you, O Lord. Accept me. For Jesus' name. Amen. I want to appreciate the Lord in your life for that step you have taken. I want to assure you, from now on, you will see grace in action in the name of Jesus. Struggle will be taken away in the name of Jesus. I want, I want to strongly assure you and remind you that Esau and Jacob, they are brothers of the same parents. All they needed to attain to their destiny one was struggling to, to get the blessing. The other sat down while they are looking for it for him. Esau went to the, to, the, to, to the forest to hunt to make a meal so that he can receive his blessing. While Jacob, he sat down. Somebody else was doing it for him and they brought it for him. You will sit down and people will walk and you get to your destiny in the name of Jesus. Grace takes struggle away. Jacob did not struggle. And he got it. You will get there by grace at this time. In the name of Jesus. You will get them by grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray with you. In the book of First Peter chapter 5 verses 10. First Peter chapter 5 verses 10. But the God of all grace who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After that, you have suffered a while. Make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and set to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I want to thank you for this great privilege. By the God of all grace, O Lord, Father, take struggle away, O Lord, from the life of your children. Wherever there have been struggle and suffering, O Lord Father, by the reason, O Lord Father, of this word today and your grace, truth, set them free, O Lord Father. Let them receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Take hardship away. Take weeping away. Take pain away, O Lord. Let them cease in the mighty name of Jesus. Make them perfect. Strengthen them. Establish them. And say to them by your grace. Thank you for answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. We want to appreciate the Lord. I want to encourage you. Do not hesitate to contact us. Tell us about the testimony. We want to hear the work in grace. I want to assure you. As you testify. The Lord will perfect it. And he will establish you in Jesus' name. Join us next Thursday for another edition of Faith Clinic. Till then, stay connected and God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.